The Young and the Restless spoilers next two week full November 11th to November 22nd, 2024. The sun had barely dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across Sharon Newman's impeccably decorated bedroom. The room, usually a sanctuary of calm and elegance, now buzzed with an unexpected tension. Sharon stood by the window, her silhouette framed by the fading light, when a soft creak alerted her to an intruder. Her heart raced as she turned to find Phyllis Summers standing in her room, a mix of determination and vulnerability etched across her face. Phyllis, Sharon breathed, her voice wavering between surprise and cautious curiosity. Phyllis took a hesitant step forward, her eyes never leaving Sharon's. We need to talk, she said quietly, her usual bravado subdued by the gravity of the situation. The air between them was thick with unspoken history. Since Heather's funeral, their lives had been anything but peaceful. The rivalry that once fueled their interactions had transformed into a complex web of schemes and counter-schemes, each woman determined to protect her own interests at any cost. Sharon crossed her arms, her expression guarded. What do you want, Phyllis? Phyllis's jaw tightened. I want you to pay for what you did. Or at the very least, I want you to help me get Daniel out of prison. Sharon's eyes flashed with a mix of anger and defiance. You think I had anything to do with Daniel's predicament? You're delusional. Phyllis stepped closer, her voice lowering to a dangerous whisper. Don't play innocent with me, Sharon. I know the truth. You orchestrated everything to ruin him, to cover your own tracks. Sharon's facade began to crack, revealing a glimpse of the fear and desperation beneath. I didn't do anything, Phyllis. Daniel made his own choices. Phyllis shook her head, her eyes blazing with conviction. Don't lie to me. You've always been the mastermind, the one behind the schemes. It's time you face the consequences. Before Sharon could respond, the doorbell rang, jolting both women. Sharon's nerves were frayed as she moved towards the door, opening it to reveal Ashley Abbott standing there, her presence a beacon of warmth and concern. Ashley, Sharon greeted, forcing a semblance of normalcy into the tense atmosphere. Ashley stepped inside, enveloping Abby in a tight hug. Congratulations, Abby. Your wedding is finally coming together just as you wanted. Abby looked up, surprise evident in her eyes. I thought you'd be against it, Mom. Why are you so supportive? Ashley smiled, a genuine warmth in her gaze. Because if my daughter is willing to face every challenge, then I know she'll find true happiness. I've learned that happiness comes when you embrace what you want despite the obstacles. Abby nodded, feeling a surge of gratitude towards her mother's unexpected support. Thank you, Mom. It means a lot to me. Meanwhile, Ashley's thoughts were elsewhere. She had always admired Devon's charm and dedication, but recent events had stirred a sense of unease within her. Devon had a history of fleeting relationships, never fully committing to any woman for the long haul. Despite this, Ashley had never expected Abby to fall victim to his unpredictable nature. Determined to protect her daughter, Ashley decided to confront Devon. She needed to warn him about his tendency to betray those he cared about, hoping to steer him away from causing Abby the heartbreak she feared. As the evening progressed, Sharon and Phyllis continued their tense conversation. The room seemed to shrink around them, the weight of their history pressing down like a suffocating fog. You think you can just walk in here and demand things? Sharon spat, her patience wearing thin. I have my own life, my own battles to fight. Phyllis's eyes softened slightly, but her resolve remained unbroken. This isn't just about you, Sharon. It's about doing what's right. You owe Daniel that much. Sharon took a deep breath, trying to steady her emotions. And what about your own life, Phyllis? You've caused enough chaos already. Before Phyllis could respond, Ashley returned, her presence bringing a temporary pause to the confrontation. Ladies, Let's not turn this into a bigger mess. We all have our issues to deal with. Phyllis glanced at Ashley, her expression conflicted. This isn't just about me, Ashley. It's about justice. Ashley sighed, sensing the depth of their animosity. I understand, Phyllis. But fighting amongst ourselves won't solve anything. We need to find a way to move forward, for everyone's sake. As the conversation continued, tension simmered beneath the surface. Sharon and Phyllis were two sides of the same coin both strong-willed women with their own agendas, locked in a battle that showed no signs of abating. Meanwhile, Ashley made her way to Devon's office, 
determined to have a serious talk. Devin greeted her with his usual charming smile, but Ashley could see the weariness in his eyes. Devin, we need to talk, she began, her tone firm yet caring. Devin looked concerned. Of course, Ashley. What's on your mind? Ashley took a deep breath, gathering her thoughts. I need to warn you about Abby. She's planning her wedding, and I'm worried that you might not be as committed as you seem. Devin, you've never been one to stay loyal long term. I just don't want Abby to get hurt because of that. Devin's expression hardened, a flicker of defensiveness crossing his face. Ashley, Abby is happy. If she chooses to marry me, I intend to honor that commitment. Ashley wasn't convinced. I hope you're right, Devin. But history has a way of repeating itself. Abby deserves someone who's in it for the long haul, not just a fleeting interest. Devin sighed, running a hand through his hair. I understand your concerns, Ashley. But Abby and I have something special. I want to give her the happiness she deserves. As Ashley left Devon's office, she couldn't shake the feeling that her instincts were right. She knew Devon's reputation all too well, and the thought of her daughter getting involved with someone who might not stay committed weighed heavily on her heart. Back at Sharon's house, the atmosphere remained charged. Phyllis and Sharon stood in a delicate balance, their confrontation paused but unresolved. The impending wedding added another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of relationships in Genoa City. As the days turned into weeks, the tension between Sharon and Phyllis only grew. Sharon became increasingly paranoid, suspecting everyone around her of potential betrayals. Phyllis, on the other hand, continued her relentless pursuit of justice, determined to uncover the truth behind Daniel's imprisonment. Ashley's warnings to Devon didn't go unnoticed. Devon found himself caught between his feelings for Abby and the concerns raised by her mother. He began to question his own motives, striving to prove to both Ashley and Abby that he could be the man they needed him to be. The wedding preparations moved forward, but the underlying tensions threatened to erupt at any moment. Friends and family in Genoa City watched with bated breath, aware that the delicate balance could tip with the slightest provocation. On the night of the rehearsal dinner, emotions reached a boiling point. Sharon and Phyllis found themselves alone in the crowded venue, the air thick with unspoken animosity. Sharon, Phyllis began, her voice barely above a whisper. We need to end this. It's tearing all of us apart. Sharon met her gaze, her eyes tired but resolute. I agree, Phyllis. But how? You want me to let go of everything I've built, everything I've done? Phyllis took a step closer, her demeanor softening. Not everything, but holding on to grudges causing more pain. It's not the way forward. Let's find a way to coexist for Daniel's sake and for everyone else's. Sharon looked away, conflicted. I don't know if I can trust you, Phyllis. After everything. Before Phyllis could respond, the room buzzed with conversation, pulling them back into the reality of the evening. The fragile truce hung in the air, uncertain and precarious. Meanwhile, Devin and Ashley shared a quiet moment away from the festivities. Devin reached out, taking Ashley's hand in his. I appreciate your concern, Ashley, he said sincerely. I promise you, I'm committed to making this work with Abby.